To log in and access your maintenance form or other e-forms, you're going to go ahead as usual and go to the home page of Blake and select the Blake email link. Once you do so, if you're already logged in, uh, you'll be taken to your email account and you'll notice at the t uh, top of the screen you'll have access to a number of tools such as calendar and groups but the tool that you're going to uh, use in order to access the maintenance form and the responses in the maintenance form is uh, the tool called documents or drive so we're going to go ahead and select uh, documents or drive in the black toolbar and it will show you all of your google docs here at blake school including the maintenance um, request form. And there it is. Um, just like in Gmail, I might choose to star it to make it uh, something that I frequently access. And to open it up, I'm just going to go ahead and select it. It will open up a new tab. And once I do, I can see all of the different um, requests that are currently made available. So I can see that um, here that at 9.25 this morning there was a uh, task around temperature here at Blake Middle School campus for myself um, and the extension phone number, room number, and the details of the request. Um, all these items that are located here in this gray area are items that you want to make sure that you don't change or erase because uh, that will break the form for uh, employees here at Blake School. But let's say, for example, that I am pretending to be Ken. I could go ahead and say, yep, I work with David on installing a new thermostat. Uh, when I install the thermostat and any uh, comments. And that's all there is to it. That will uh, allow you to keep track of different maintenance requests um, that are coming and being submitted through eForms. The next item that I want to point out to, uh, that you can do is set up notifications. So to set up a notification, you're going to go under the Tools menu in Google Docs. And this is a one-time um, uh, one time task. So we're going to go ahead and set up notification roles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'd say anytime a user submits a form, I would like to get an email right away. And when I do so, um, I'm going to click Save, and so anytime a user submits a form, I'm going to get an um, email right away. When I do so, um, in my inbox, um, I will get uh, um, request forms, such as um, the uh, uh, one here for uh, Google Docs. Uh, this is about uh, new employees or employees who are no longer here at school. Um, and when I click on that, I can see that uh, it allowed me to uh, click uh, the link to the right in order to open up the spreadsheet so I never have to leave my inbox. So two quick ways to um, either visit your Google Docs uh, folder and open up the request at your leisure or have a notification be sent to you.